Hi guys and welcome back to Rachel's Enchanting Cakes. Now for this week's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make some of these beautiful fondant ascents from scratch. Now on this cake all of that seaweed has been done freehand. These little rocks freehand. The only thing that I've used a mould for is the actual seashells on there. I've added a few sprinkles, which obviously are shop bought, but everything else you can make yourself with very limited equipment. As always, I'm going to guide you through everything in a simple step-by-step -step format. This is perfect for any new bakers who maybe have an under-the-sea themed cake to make. Very simple to do, very effective and so much fun. Happy baking, guys. I believe this is now the 162nd tutorial we now have on the channel. There's plenty on there. There's something on there for everyone, so be sure to check them out. And I'll be back soon with more new, completely free content. Let's make a start. I am not making a two-tiered cake. Instead, I have just made some thin layers. These are only three centimetres deep. I'm going to stack them on top of each other. So the cake will be about 12 centimetres deep once we have finished because I'm only adding a thin layer of buttercream between each one. But I'm using an 8 inch round and 6 inch round cake. This will just give a little bit more definition when we actually add the seaweed. And if you are doing this for a cake order, it means you can keep the cost of the cake down because in effect you are just making one cake you're not doing a two-tiered so start by stacking your cakes on top of each other no doweling is necessary for this remember i've only got thin layers so it's just like having an eight inch cake with four layers of cake inside that are relatively thin i'm choosing to use a vanilla buttercream you can add any flavors that you want i have the base cake a lovely vanilla sponge and the top cake is a delicious chocolate cake. If you're relatively new to baking, the next step is to crumb coat the whole cake. This is just a process where we apply the leftover buttercream on the outside of the entire cake, get it as smooth as possible, and it not only protects the cake from the air, but it also acts as a natural glue for when we add our fondant. So completely cover the cake, Take your time smoothing it out and then place it into the fridge. Now we're going to get on to the next step. So for a cake of this size, you want approximately 800 gram of fondant. So here I have rolled out my fondant. I simply drape it directly over my rolling pin and then over the cake. Take your time negotiating the pleats, smooth it out with some smoothers and cut off any excess fondant. Place this into the fridge to allow it to go lovely and cool. And whilst it's doing that, we're going to make a start on those beautiful under the sea fondant ascents. First up, I'm going to show you how to make this gravity defined seaweed, which can be used on the sides of your cakes and to decorate the drum and the rock on the base. Start by rolling out a very thin piece of green modelling paste, not fondant. This needs to be modelling paste. I then use a ruler and a very, very sharp knife just to make the sides straight. You then simply need to cut out some triangle shapes. And once you have done this, using your fingers, holding the triangle, at both ends, simply twist and then leave it to rest on your surface to allow it to set. That's It's as easy as that. You've got your homemade seaweed, but you need to leave it to set. I would recommend maybe leaving this overnight for the best results. You want to make plenty, just like I have here. And then we'll be using some of these in order to create them to add to the rocks and the others will be left to add directly to the actual cake. So taking a colour of your choice for the rocks, just 
manipulate a very small amount of fondant this time, not modelling paste, because fondant does go hard, and shape it into more of a rock-like shape. All you need to do then is take your Dresden tool and simply poke lots of dots into the fondant. Whilst the fondant is still soft, take one piece of seaweed that has set, gently push it into the fondant and add a small amount of edible glue. Leave this to one side just to allow the fondant to go ugly and hard. That will support the seaweed and you've just created another feature for your under the sea themed cake. So for the next element, we're going to be making these. Now, these are super easy to make, but so, so effective. So with these, repeat the process that we did previously by making your rock. But then you need to get a ball tool and simply place some indentations directly into your rock. This is just so you know where to place each cone-like shape. Taking a colour of your choice once you've added some edible glue directly to your homemade rock. I'm choosing purple because it goes so beautifully with pink. Simply roll a cone-like shape, very small, on your hand. And then taking the ball tool, just push it into the larger end. The smaller end then wants to be stuck directly into your rock. Bear in mind this is all fondant, not modelling paste, because when you go and add another cone-like shape, they all support each other. And remember, fondant does set to an extent, so this does not need to be modelling paste. Simply repeat this process for as many different colours that you want. Make as many as you want. They are absolutely beautiful and they add a perfect finishing touch. As mentioned, for the seashells, I did use a mould. So just add any colour fondant of your choice. And then just a little tip for you. If you place this mould directly into the freezer or a fridge, but the freezer will work a lot faster, wait a few minutes. They will come away from the mould with ease because you are going to need to make quite a lot of these. Now let's start applying this to our decorated cake. Here you can see me physically take my refrigerated cake and apply it directly to my covered cake drum. I'm choosing to use a steamer. You can use edible glue, but these steamers are a fantastic investment. And then all you do is simply take each of your fondant accents that you have made and apply them directly to the cake. Now, obviously, we've had to allow the seaweed to set for a reason. So don't worry about the steam making them go slightly soft because now you've actually got the cake there to support them. The ones that you do need to be careful with, however, are the ones that are just supported with the rocks. So I use the rocks as on, on the top of the cake. I use them around the cake drum. I add lots of shells. Just make it look as beautiful as you can and it will soon come together. The sprinkles I am using are by Cake Decor and they are the stunning mermaid sprinkles. They're absolutely gorgeous and they're quite big as well so it's easy to pick them out of the bag. But it's re it really is as easy as that to create your beautiful under the sea mermaid style cake happy baking guys i will be back soon with more new completely free content take care everyone and i'll see you soon